Okay, it's school dude Clem here. Well, school dude Clem, as some of you think I say, because I say school dude Clem here, because I don't say the i on the it's. But anyway, if you read my last post on YouTube, I'm sure you're aware that I tried to build a, a high frequency um, vacuum tube tester coil, and it didn't work. Supposed to shoot a big plasma flame out of a screw, and, well, I get nothing. Now, I'm not sure if it's because some of the components that I chose aren't exact to the schematic, which I will put up right now, or if it's something that I'm something else that I'm doing wrong. So, the only real changes to this circuit are I don't have a high wattage 10 kilo ohm resistor, so I put two of these 27 kilo ohm resistors in parallel. I know that doesn't add up to 10 kilo ohms, it's something like 13 kilo ohms or something, but it shouldn't impede the circuit's performance that much. Or at least, I don't think it should. And the 100 kilo ohm resistor, well, again, I don't have a high wattage 100 kilo ohm resistor, so uh, I just put all these resistors together, some in parallel, some in series, so it adds up to 100k. And for the coils here, well, I don't have the gauges of wire that were specified in the schematic. But I figure, if I can get them the same inductance, it should work. And they're even the same diameter that the schematic specifies. Same inductance as the, as the schematic specifies. And same diameter that the schematic specifies. The only difference is that they're both wound with the same wire. Now, as for the tube, I'm using a GU50. The schematic doesn't specify where pin 7 should be connected, so I just connected that to the cathode, and also connected pin 3 to the cathode, and they're all connected to ground, which is also the negative rail of the circuit. And for the capacitor, I decided that I'd go with something a little bit different to what the schematic suggested, so... I built this capacitor with one fixed plate and one plate that I can move, so I can tune in the amount of feedback capacitance that would work best. And so far, all I've managed to do is get it to light up a compact fluorescent light bulb. Haven't got any plasma coming out of it whatsoever. Whereas someone else who built the circuit has got great big towering 8 inch plasma arcs and I get nothing. I don't even get a weedy little candle flame-like arc. Even when powering this up on a microwave oven transformer, which is on a, about a 500 watt ballast, this is still all I get. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, is it the resistor that's causing the problem? Is there something wrong with my coils? Is the tube faulty? I just don't know. So yeah, any help on this and just any guidance on what kind of changes I should make to this circuit to make it do something, yeah, that would really be, um, guys, I really need your help on this. It's keeping me up at night, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so yeah, any help, any help at all would be really appreciated. And with that, I'm going to go, so... Until next time, goodbye.